Oh man, it's going down, baby. I'm finally ice fishing Lake Ack. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning out here in Ohio. The current temp is like low 30s, high 20s. Not a breeze to be found. And I'm gonna try to find some fish under this ice right here. Enjoy today's video and stay tuned. There are two tools that I have realized over the years are basically a necessity when you're ice fishing. I know I'm gonna get a lot of people to disagree with me on this. You have to understand, when you have these two things, that being a Vexlar, an ice fishing fish finder, and a gas powered auger, you are golden. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna take these two things, start right on the bank of the dam, which you see right before you, and I'm going to start working my way from shallow to deep looking for any very sharp, aggressive drop-offs, anything that looks abnormal, maybe some grass down there, some brush. I'm thinking with these big boulders too, there's probably gonna be a, a decent amount of shad and bait fish tucked underneath those boulders, uh, which then in return is probably going to attract some big bass. I've never felt so uncomfortable out of Lake X before. I have no idea what to expect. This could either be really good guys or just a massive epic failure. So let's get uh, old Augie gassed up here and start ripping some. What do you say, folks? Let's freaking do this. Woo! Come on, baby. Crispy. Ooh, it's crispy. I want a scouting mission. I have no idea where these fish are at, so I need to find them. Go, hence the name scout mission. God, you dingus. Whoa, first drop, first mark, and about six feet. Look how close I am to the dam. This is pretty crazy. So good though. Any, anywhere where there's life, I'm gonna kind of keep note of. I did not think I was gonna be able to find fish that fast. I don't think it's fish we're after, but still, fish is a fish, you know? So while I'm gonna jig a bit, I also wanna set up some minner rods. I got some small and large bullheads in there. All right, lucky minnow. It's your time to shine, bud. Ooh, that's a stinky minnow. This minnow smell bad. Alrighty. Second middle rod set up. I've got this one in, what we got this one in? That's eight foot, about nine foot, that's about 10. I just don't know if this is the right stuff. There could be some brush that they like better, but I don't, I don't know, I gotta figure that out. I got a few days here to figure this out, so bear with me. What the hell's going on here, is it little? It was so strange, the middle's still on there. That was weird. Put it back down there. Oh, oh, oh look, it just, got to, it just got to take. There it is again, he's got it. Come on, drag is loose. What do we got? Largey! First fish of the day and it's a nice little largemouth. <laughs> this is by far one of the smallest largemouth I've ever caught out here on Lake X. I thought it might have been a crappie because usually largemouth in here, they're aggressive. If I'm gonna get a largemouth to bite, it's gonna start peeling. He was messing with me pretty good there. <laughs> okay, buddy, you had me fooled. I thought you were a nice one. Okay, get back down there. It's good to know you guys are biting though. Tell the bigger ones to get after it. Gotta start somewhere, you really do. That was in probably 14 feet of water, that's interesting. I wonder if these fish are deeper than I think they are. Okay, back in the hole it goes. Let's get some more action. I think this might've taken me about an hour, but I finally got all the rods set up. I was trying to set up some jigging sticks. I got two jigging sticks I wanna take with me around this whole area, this part of the lake. Every time I tried to mess with that, the rods were going off. And in the midst of all of this, I'm commenting to the camera without even realizing my battery's completely dead and I'm just talking to myself and missing a bunch of fish. Just keep note, I've got four rods set up. That rod has gone off, that rod has gone off, that rod has also gone off, and that's the one I caught the little fish on. And then I added another one in really shallow water. I mean, there's fish here. I just don't know if this is the mother load. Oh, fish, 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 fish. I heard it. Is he still on? Is he still on? Yeah, he's still on. Yeah, he's on. He's on, tighten up the drag. We're on. First dead stick fish of the day. Please be a good one. Oh, it's not bad. Come over here. Get up through the hole. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, it took long enough. Wow. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. I'm over here in this corner trying to jig up some uh, some crappie and largemouth. And I just like barely hear the drag going. I think it's like like me just hearing things. I turn to my right and this rod is, uh, is completely bent over and I've got a decent little one pounder. Maybe maybe a little less than one pounder, but she's fat and healthy. That feels amazing. 
It's gonna feel even more amazing when I get like a three pounder too. I'm so ready. Bring it on, fish. Let's go. Oh, big gill. Slabbies. <laughs> I'm tempted to throw you on a freaking giant treble hook and just put you on a tip up. I know that would be ornery. I'm not gonna be like that. Get down there. Get down there before I change my mind. Freaking where the hell are the bass at? Where your neighbors at? Current time is, wow, 2.36. Been out here for longer than I thought. So far, what do I think of Lake X in wintertime? Don't love it, don't necessarily hate it, but definitely don't love it. I think I had some good opportunities today. I kind of flubbed up on them, but even with those opportunities, and let's, like, let's say I caught those fish that, that decided to bite my dead stick, it still wouldn't have been like an insanely good day. Now, I'm not complaining. I don't want you guys to interpret this as complaining. I'm just kind of processing what's going on right now and trying to grasp as to maybe why these fish aren't biting. Maybe I'm in the wrong location. Maybe the dam isn't where they're at. So with that in mind, I think tomorrow I'm gonna to switch up my game plan. I'm gonna finish off today at the dam. At the very least, I can cross that off my list. One kind of major concern I have right now is all of this slush. It's not necessarily gonna kill the ice overnight, hopefully, maybe not, I don't know, but it will complicate things for a bite on Thursday. I may have to leave here early. This has happened literally within four hours like this is not good there's a nice puddle of water and by all my holes there's water starting to come up too i'm still going i don't want you guys to think i'm giving up here i'm still moving i'm still looking for those fish it's just a little bit discouraging that i haven't had a bite um in about an hour or so Ugh. Ugh. good mark Ooh, that feels decent that feels decent oh it's a largey Get up here, little Archie. Oh my God, nice deucer job there. Way to grab the deucer in time. Amateur hour here on Lake X, folks. This is an anomaly. This is so freaking nuts. I've never caught so many tiny bass on a Lake X. I wonder if the big ones just aren't active in the wintertime and the little ones tend to kind of steal the bait before the big ones. I don't know. God, that one came fast on it. Ah! <laughs> Another little LMB. They're pretty, man. Even with the lack of grass in this lake, these fish stay very, very green and lush looking. In case you're curious, this is the bait that I'm using today. It's uh, a little Sitka spoon chartreuse with some with some nice broad uh, black lateral line, uh, lateral line, what's the word I'm looking for, patterns on there. And I'm putting one of these little crappie nubbles, just one right in the midsection of the spoon. I'm putting my deucer in the hole, dropping my spoon right next to it, and we're working this bait about a foot to a foot and a half off the bottom. Real slow, methodical, like bounce, 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 stop, bounce, 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 stop. Two bass that I've caught on this spoon have been on the pause right after a nice, nice rip or so, like something like this, and then I stop it, and that's when I get the, the bite, and the bite's something like this. It's like, boom, just, a, it's a pull. You know, it's a nice steady pull. You can tell when it's a bass, and you can tell when it's a bluegill. There he is. Oh, not a bad gill. I'm used to catching like like four or three inches when I'm out here. That's not awful. Oh, that kind of surprised me. All right, Gilly. Peace out. Thanks a lot. That was nice. I dig it. <sighs> it's been a long day. Been a fun day, but it's been a long day. I, uh, I'm a little bummed that I didn't get more action today. Granted, I did mess up on some opportunities that could have led to a better day. I think I really need to invest in like some actual rod tip ups. The reason why I don't use tip ups, which are basically like a hand line system, you, you pull the fish in by hand, is because I don't find that to be extra fun. I like actually reeling the fish in via rod. So that's why I have dead stick set up with non-traditional rod holders ice fishing rod holders even like the bluegill that i was marking on the graph weren't exactly excited to see my lure it just kind of seemed un lake x-ish like for these fish to act this way i'm just gonna set it aside though i don't even care what happened today tomorrow is what matters i'm gonna head actually back towards the dock opposed to my car and get everything prepped up for tomorrow because i'm not even gonna be fishing over here and drive my car back to my grandparents place where I will then think of a better plan than the one that I had today because today's plan sucked. Trial and error, that's what it's all about.
Lucky. Lucky. What are you doing? What are you doing? Everything I thought I knew about this lake, I apparently don't. I gotta reassess my game plan for tomorrow. Even though I didn't have like the most bang up day on the ice today, I'm optimistic about tomorrow, mainly because I know what not to do. And now I can focus on some new tactics and some new things. Along with that, I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. Along with that, I'm gonna be using Mystery Tackle Box's ice fishing box. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Mystery Tackle Box, they make walleye boxes, panfish boxes, catfish boxes, saltwater boxes, and ice fishing box. The best thing I can do right now is not give up hope and focus on the things that I thought worked today and push aside the things that I felt like did. Just so we're clear, this is the Lake X. I'm used to. Right. <laughs> Big Ohio pre-spawn bass, cold front rolled in. Wow, beautiful, beautiful Argy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, this place is really epic. Just didn't really show its true colors today. Forget about it, just, just forget about it and we're gonna hit them hard tomorrow and uh, wreck them real good. Um, <laughs> She's laying in my pants. I'm going to bed. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Part two of Lake X will be dropping soon. Wish me luck. I'm going to really need it. And I will see you guys in the morning. Stay safe, enjoy life, and keep fishing. Never stop. Line. This fish is gonna spool me.